Thank you very much, uh, Sharon. I should be able to have control of this now and you should all be able to hear me. Um, hopefully no issues with unmuting, but uh, let me know if not. I'm Dan from South Australia Tourism and I'm here to talk to you about our top 10 in 10 minutes. So I've only got a little bit of time and I don't want to waste any, so let's get cracking. Um, before we get into it, I just want to tell you about another chance for you to win. So today you'll be able to win a goodie bag. We have five other great prizes up for grabs and all you need to do is complete our Aussie Specialist Program module um, uh, uh, now and it'll be running through to the end of October. So loads of info on there, but the main thing you need to know is if you get in quick, if you're one of the first 50 to complete it, you'll get three times entry into the draw for one of five great prizes. Um, and then we have all the details you need are at um, trade.southaustralia.com slash UK. So just visit that one. If you have any issues at all or any questions, email me at daniel.wright at adelaide.com. All the details are there on our trade website for this exciting incentive. Now, um, let's talk about Adelaide and South Australia and getting there. So first of all, uh, before we talk about the destination, we need to get there. And luckily we have so many options from the UK and Ireland. So uh, loads of one-stop options via those hubs in the top left of your screen there. The best thing about um, getting to South Australia as you know, when you're either starting your journey there or coming from a different part of the country, um, we're in the middle of it. So we're right in the middle of the country as Ali showed you before and as you can see from the map, which means that we can be included as part of any itinerary, um, whether your clients are going from the West Coast, East Coast, North or South, it's so easily, uh, we're so easily reached um, because we're right in the center of it all. Great for flying to any of those other hubs around the, uh, the country, of course, um, and then uh, really well positioned for self drives and rail journeys as well. So easily included as part of any two to three week itinerary. And then looking at the map more in, de in detail, so South Australia is a big place. It's four times the size of the UK. However, most of the action happens in the southeast corner of the state, and this is what we're looking at now. So as you can see, Adelaide, can, from Adelaide, you can reach any of our key destinations so easily. We've got um, fam world famous um, vin uh, vineyards and wineries near us and wine regions like the Barossa Valley, just an hour north. You can fly to Kangaroo Island in just 35 minutes across the Air Peninsula where you can go and swim with sea lions or up to the Flinders Ranges and Outback in just a four and a half hour drive uh, and just a 50 minute flight out to the Air Peninsula and, and the town of Port Lincoln. So no matter where you're going, no matter what the destination in South Australia, it's so easily reached from Adelaide. And that brings us to our top 10 and our first one. Number one is Adelaide. And that's because it's our capital, it's our, um, Generally, the first place people will be landing and, and exploring in South Australia will be our capital of Adelaide. Uh, as you can see from this photo on screen here, food and wine and arts and culture are very, very key in our beautiful capital. But we also have other key experiences like the beach, stunning beaches to the west coast of Adelaide. And then to the east and inland, we've got um, the beautiful Adelaide Hills, where we have wine regions, uh, wineries, eateries, and wildlife, as you can see. So, so much to see um, either side of the CBD of Adelaide, um, and then so much happening within the centre as well. So, as you can see from this map here, if you're in the centre of Adelaide, um, it's very green. The whole city centre CBD is surrounded by green parklands but you can travel to the, the beach in 30 minutes by tram or 15 to 20 minute drive west, 20 minute drive east, you get to the Adelaide Hills and then 20 minutes walking in the CBD, um, you can get to anywhere you need to be. So there's a reason they call Adelaide the 20 minute city and you can see from this, uh, another key thing to know is the airport is just a 15 minute transfer away or just six kilometers from the CBD, which is amazing, especially after a long haul flight from Europe. Um, number two on our top 10 list is wildlife. Uh, and we have so many key wildlife experiences in uh, South Australia. Um, so Kangaroo Island, for instance, is uh, the true wildlife haven of the whole country. And this is just 35 minutes away from Adelaide. Uh, you can swim with sea lions out in the Air Peninsula. You can see tons of kangaroos and emus and wallabies up in the, air, uh, up in the uh, Flinders Ranges. No matter where you might be in South Australia, there is a unique wildlife experience to be had. Number three is wine. And you can't talk about Adelaide and South Australia without talking about wine. Um, so we have over 200 cellar doors where you can go and try the wine. 
within a one hour drive from Adelaide. Uh, the world famous Barossa Valley, places like McLaren Vale and the Adelaide Hills offer so many unique winery experiences, whether it's whether you're out on a day tour or staying overnight in a wine region, um, there's so much to be had and it really is the wildlife and wine aspect go really well together. Something else that goes well with wine is food, of course, um, where there's good wine, there's good food and the experience of the dining experiences around Adelaide and South Australia are second to none. Uh, we have influences from around the world, indigenous influences on all of the, the food and you'll always find fresh seasonal produce on the menus from our world renowned chefs. Um, so whether it's the wine regions, Adelaide, or even the wider, re uh, the wider regions from there, there's so many great dining experiences to be had. All right, that brings us to a couple of bingo numbers. And first one that I'm gonna give you is number 53. So number 53, that represents um, just how long it takes to travel from Adelaide to Darwin on the Ghan, which is a famous rail journey. 53 hours or three days, roughly about three days um, and two nights you'll spend on the train. It's a great all-inclusive journey by rail. Next number is 25, and that's because it takes approximately 25 minutes to travel from Adelaide to the wildlife haven of Kangaroo Island. Now you might be confused because it, uh, on my map earlier it said 35 minutes. That's the official time you'll find in uh, your uh, GDS, but actually it only takes about 25 minutes in the, of time actually in the air. You're literally up and down and then you're there. So it's so quick, the journey over to Kangaroo Island where you can see some koalas, kangaroos, sea lions, um, and really have the, the true wildlife experience um, that it is known for. All right, number five is coastal and aquatic. We have over 3000 miles of coastline in South Australia. And most of that is beautiful turquoise waters with white sand beaches. As you can see here, crystal clear waters and rock pools. This is an image from the Air Peninsula, which is really well known for its coastal and aquatic experiences. But whether you're on Kangaroo Island or other places like the Fleuria Peninsula or Limestone Coast, which is the route that leads you to Melbourne, um, the Adelaide to Melbourne Self Drive, um, the coastline and the beaches and the aquatic experiences are amazing. And as you can see, stunning, stunning crystal clear waters. Number six on our list is Outback. So whether you're traveling from ocean to Outback, um, you're gonna get a different unique experience in South Australia and the Outback is really where you can connect with um, indigenous and Aboriginal culture, but also the stunning landscapes, the um, huge peaks, um, low valleys, and the roads that you can go through, as you can see. You'll generally not find anyone else on the roads when you're traveling around the outback of South Australia, which is epic, and it just really adds to that whole um, getting out there, wide open spaces into the wilderness. Um, and most people are gonna want that, especially after this period we're in at the moment with, with lockdown and the pandemic. When people are traveling again, they're gonna wanna get out there to nature and uh, experience something uh, in, in true um, wilderness like the, the outback and the Flinders Ranges in particular in South Australia offers that. Number seven are the colors and the different colors of South Australia uh, really are a key theme. As you can see from these images alone, the turquoise blues of the ocean right up to the rusty reds of the outback and then in between you've got things like our lush green wine regions uh, pink lakes uh, i mean just the, the different colors and the diverse landscapes you see along the way really are something to behold all right arts culture and events is number eight adelaide in particular is well known for world-class events uh, like music festivals arts festivals food and wine festivals but also things like the Adelaide Fringe, which is the second largest fringe of its kind in the world. Um, and that art scene and the cultural aspects, um, bringing in indigenous and uh, cultural, uh, cultural experiences as well, really do bring the city to life. And at our festivals and events, that's somewhere you can meet our friendly locals. And that is number nine on our list. Locals really are friendly in South Australia. It's very laid back. You'll always get a good day when you're walking down the street. Um, and yeah, it's just a, it's just a really nice, friendly environment and, uh, and there's never uh, too many traffic jams either. So with those nice quiet roads becomes a, a nice, um, serene environment wherever you're traveling around South Australia. And that brings me on to my final point, my final number in terms of our top 10, and that's ease of travel. It's so easy to get around South Australia. And that's what I showed you before with the map, whether you're coming in from the airport and you've just got a 15 minute drive to the city, 
going out to our regions or, or coming in on a, a self-drive or train itinerary like this one here. It's just so easy to get around and that accessibility really makes it uh, a treat for anyone traveling, no matter what your uh, mode of transport might be. That brings us to the end of the top 10. I just want to show you the map once again. And that really brings me on to that point, that my last point there about the ease of travel. Just look at how easy it is to get to where you need to be in South Australia. All of these destinations are right on the doorstep of Adelaide and they're all so unique in many ways. Let's have a couple more bingo numbers. I, mean, I know you're very, very excited to hear these. So number, uh, number, the next number is 71. Um, and there are 71 individual stalls at the Adelaide Central Market, which is the largest undercover market in the Southern Hemisphere. It's a great place to get your fresh produce and see some of the local artwork as well. Number 68, uh, the Adelaide Oval is our famous uh, cricket ground and famous stadium. And the record crowd there was 68,000 people. Uh, they all crammed in for the Adele concert in 2017, believe it or not. Um, generally, you'll get people get around 50,000 people there for cricket games and Aussie rules football. And 63 is our final number. And that's because 63% of people in the outback town of Cuba PD actually live underground. So there's this small town in the middle of South Australia, which is uh, really well known for opal mining and its residents living underground. And you can actually stay in underground hotels there as well. It's a really unique experience. That is it from me, folks. Thank you so much for listening. Um, if you need anything else, or if you want to hear about more about our competitions, uh, as I mentioned earlier, head to trade.southaustralia.com slash UK. If you need anything from me, jot down that email. It's just daniel.wright at adelaide.com. And give us a like on social media for some uh, great content, funny videos of sea lions and koalas and all that kind of stuff. So thank you so much for joining us. Enjoy the rest of the session.